One of the highlights of my recent H-Town trip was getting to the show and finding a pair of dead stock laser fours. The black pair. I talked with a friend when I got there early on in the week and he started to tell me about this shoe right here. How clean they were, how dead stock they were, and how well taken care of they were. And for the price, I told him immediately, do not put those on the table until I see them. As soon as I saw them, I'm glad that they never hit the table. They're here. Rare to see a pair of the black laser fours pop up. And I wasn't going to miss the opportunity. I messed with the uh, sole back there and I think they're in very good shape. I don't think they're going to fall apart on me. So I'm anxious to get out and wear these. I'm not sure if we would ever see something like a Laser 4 Retro. We're seeing lots of 3's and lots of 4's coming back. I'm happy about that because 3's are my favorites and 4's are number 2. But the Lasers? Who knows? And if they do, I'm confident they wouldn't come back with this quality leather. Seems like everything these days is uh, leaves a little bit to be desired in the way of retros. And like Ty and I were talking about one night, seems like everything these days is a plastic shoe. We just don't see leather on shoes anymore. Just doesn't seem to happen. So missing an opportunity to pick up one of these, not going to happen. I think most people who appreciate shoes in general, and especially those who are fans of fours or these lasers, would agree. If one pops up, you take it home. You don't wait for the other guy. And you sure don't miss those rare opportunities to find one and take it home. Whether you need another one or not, grab it anyway. As always, you can find me at samcolt12.com, Google Plus, Instagram, and Viddy. One of my favorite shows, H-Town Sneaker Summit, and looking forward in November to the 10th anniversary. That will be their actual 10-year anniversary of doing that show. Growing from just a very few people to a cast of thousands. I've made very good family and friends over time down there. And I always manage to find something that I can't live without when I go there. That's both good and bad, mainly good but my wallet's not happy when I come back home. I tend to look for finds like these where, even though they were a little bit, they were not even close to what you're thinking I paid for them. Excellent buy. A steal in my eyes. And I'm very happy to have these here. In this condition. Truly dead stocked. which you just don't find that often. A prize, indeed.